Viva na Horo Life! Can I experience any culture shocks on Japan? Uh... I don't, I don't know... Like, I wasn't really shocked, I guess, because... I, I would watch, like, a lot of videos about, um, Japanese culture and stuff. So, I just tried to act, like, really respectful. Oh, but there was one time... Oh, yeah, this story. Um, I was on the train and it was pretty late. I was worried that it might be, like, the last train or something. And it, I think it was, like, on a Saturday. So, a lot of people out, you know, drinking and stuff. And there was this lady who was, like, kind of passed out. Um, and there was this guy that would like had his arm around her and I was listening to them because I was nearby and she was like saying, I think she said like, oh, I hate, I hate your arm being there. Can you move it? So I got the impression that, you know, that it was somebody that was like kind of trying to take advantage of her. Um, and I guess may maybe I'm like nosy because most people weren't like really paying attention. They're just minding their own business. And I don't even speak the language, so I don't even know what's going on, right? I just know that the lady is like really drunk and she's saying that she doesn't like this guy being near her. So um, I stayed on until she got off. And it was actually the guy was like shaking her awake and her head was like banging against the train, the side of the train. And it sounded like really scary. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Okay, so then I got off and like... I got off after them and I asked, I was like, Dajobu desu Because it's scary, like her head was like banging against the train. And so I asked the guy, Dajobu desu And he was like, oh, Dajobu, Dajobu, Dajobu. But I don't know, it seems like sketchy because she was, she could barely like walk. And yeah, maybe he did know her. But I was listening to their conversation and he asked her like, do you know me? And she said, no, I don't know you. So maybe they were like acquaintances or something, but she's like... Her, her body language was completely turned away from him and she like had her head against the wall and like she was trying to get him to stop touching her so I was just worried and I know people in Japan like probably mind their own business and I don't know nobody was like really batting an eye or anything They're like oh this is normal but I just I was just worried you know about m another lady and yeah so I asked and um, he's like dajibu, dajibu, dajibu. and he walked her off like to the escalator in the station and then um it looked like he was gonna go with her but actually he just sent her off the escalator she was like barely standing and he uh went back on the train he caught the next train and i don't know if maybe i hadn't asked anything maybe he would have tried to like go home with her or something i don't even know if she would be able to get home on her own but um i felt better that she was like going up towards the station and um yeah, you know, there's like people working at the station and stuff, so hopefully she... You know, there were nice people up there, up at the station. Because, yeah, I don't know if maybe he would have tried to take her home or something, but... He just sent her off and... Yeah... I don't know, maybe they, maybe they were just acquaintances. Maybe... Maybe it, I'm too nosy, you know, being a foreigner or something. <laughs> you never know, right? You never know... Better safe than sorry. That's what I was thinking too.